Hello, Dane here, and it is Monday. I'm reading uh, Dreamcatcher by Stephen King, which is about some aliens and stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't really have anything new to say since I finished my last little bit of vlog. But uh, I just want to say hello. That's Game of Thrones. Hello, you can have a better look at my winter is coming hoodie today. Uh, I haven't been just been busy working really. I've still been reading Dreamcatcher on page 362, so slightly over halfway now. And as I said, a full review of this will be coming soon, so keep your eyes peeled for it. Other than that, I don't have much to update you on really. I've just been at home. Uh, I got some, did a little bit of shopping earlier. Biggie's down there. Don't know what he's doing. And uh, yeah, just cracking on with cracking on. There's an open mic night tonight and also some live music, but I don't think I'm going to go to either. Uh, no, Amy doesn't fancy hanging out as well, which is fair enough. So I am going to be spending this evening doing some work so that I have some money because I am skint. Although, speaking of no Amy, actually, we are going to go to see a concert on Sunday at the Wickham Swan and it's going to be some classical music. Um, and I've never seen like a full classical music performance, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. I can hear Biggie chewing on his food. I remember that one time I got really emotional because uh, we, we ate all the apples and there was the last apple standing by itself and I got really sad for the apple because the apple was all alone. Vegan pizza, <laughs> vegan mozzarella sticks, French Star Wars. Happy days. Nick Cave has added a bunch of music to his uh, YouTube channel. So uh, I'm, I'm currently watching that. Um, oh, what was I going to say? It is Wednesday. My anxiety has been pretty bad today. Um, so it's not been ideal. Uh, but last night I did some recording uh, for my band The Ilk, which is me and my friend Dave. We're actually, I'm, I'm going to create a YouTube channel, I think. So I'll link to that below where we're going to put some of the videos of our performances and stuff on. And we've also got some music videos. So that's very cool. Um, so I'm going to populate that soon-ish. We've got some business cards coming soon as well. But yeah, we've been working on an EP, so we've got two songs now done with music videos. And last night I finished recording Yes She Does, which is one of my songs that we do. Um, so yeah, we're working on like five or six songs, all original songs to make an EP. So uh, yeah, Dave's got two of my songs now to learn and to record. I have an open mic song to do some stuff on as well, to do some backing vocals. But all is going pretty well, so that's very cool. B -b -b um, I also recorded my French song, which goes like, Remenez-moi avec toi, Remenez-moi avec toi, je ne parle nous pas. Here we go, let's play a little bit of it. I don't really know what to do with it, but it was fun to do. I think this is the chorus now. Well, that's my improvised guitar solo, who's solo bits. Anyway, so there's that. I don't know what to do with that. And I'm still reading uh, Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. I'm currently on page 490 of about 700. So I uh, should get that finished kind of probably by the weekend maybe. I don't know. Actually, I think it's even less. Oh no, it is. It is 700 pages, but we've got like a couple of couple of blank parts where it's like an epilogue and stuff. So I'm definitely getting towards the end. I'm enjoying it. This is a buddy read with Stacey's stories. I think she's enjoying it too. SSDD and all that. Um, yeah. And in, uh, for, uh, 
And for my bedtime book, I am still reading... Well, I'm reading Persuasion by Jane Austen, which I'm finding incredibly dull, but I expected to find it incredibly dull. So, I've never read any Austen before, and it's a really nice edition, so I was like, I might as well read this nice edition then. Um, and I'm probably about a quarter of the way through that, and just really just not engaged with it, but... But hey-ho, I'm gonna soldier on. And I'm also probably just over halfway through now, um, Le Chien de Basqueville. Um, which is the Hound of the Baskervilles in French. So I'm on, uh, Dr. Watson's presenting his second report, that's where we're at. So I'm pretty impressed with how far I've got into it. I'm, it's just a matter of time before I finish it, you know, so. And then I'm gonna read uh, Trois Nouvelles by uh, Edgar Allan Poe, which is three of his novellas in French and in English on the same, like next to each other. So that'd be cool, that's something to look forward to. All right. Yo, 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 homies. I'm sorry, I'm just muting my computer so it doesn't ping at me. I'm currently watching World War II in colour. It's, uh, well, it's the, I think I'm on the last episode as well. It's all about Buchenwald. So it's pretty depressing, but very fascinating. I'm still reading Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. I'm now on page 594 of about 694, so I'm right at the end. Woo! Which, yeah, is good, because I'm enjoying it. It's probably like a four out of five for me. And then after that, I'm going to be reading Dawn. Yes, Dawn by Eli Weisel. So I'm going to buddy read that with Alex Black. So, and I've been buddy reading Dreamcatcher with Stacey Story. So it's been, you know, a good time for buddy reads. And also, uh, the Weisel book's pretty short, so it'll be nice to go to a short one after finishing this. What do I have to update you on? Yesterday, I went to a pub called uh, Head Run, it was called. And they have, like, all these special beers there, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I met Noemi and her housemates, so Ali and Greg, uh, who are both, you know, cool guys. So um, I've met them, like, a few times before. We watched The Shining, actually, on Halloween as well. But, yeah, it was cool to see those guys and to hang out with them. And then we went to see some live music from Kirsty Fuller. But I didn't take my phone because I'm trying to live more in the now, you know? So I don't want to be vlogging everything. Uh, but, yeah, later on this evening, I'm off to Noemi's to... We're going to watch... What's it called? I don't know. I've forgotten what it's called now. We're going to watch a horror film. I think I've got it downloaded. So, Parasite. We're going to watch Parasite. So that'll be good. And I assume I'm staying there. So, yeah, that's about all I have to update you on, really. Cool. I did, that was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Okay, so I've been incredibly nerdy and created myself as a character on Baldur's Gate. I've also got it in French. That's also fun. Sure, let's do it. So, as you can see, I have sound effects. I am ready. Let's do this. Kill him. Yes. We're going to hear me die in a second. I think I might be dying. This guy whistles like an angel. Oh, oh hello, here we are. Okay, it is Saturday. Uh, last night I went to Noemi's for some food. We had like a salad with a few other bits and we watched a movie. It was Swedish actually. Uh, called The Square and it was really good. It was like an arty film. Like one of those where I'm still thinking about it today, you know, but also because it was in Swedish it was quite cool because I recognized like Swedish swear words like fan and helvete Which I only know from watching PewDiePie, so I guess I've learned something from PewDiePie. There we go uh, So yes, yeah, stayed over there had breakfast there this morning came back I'm still reading Dreamcatcher, but I'm 50 pages from the end. I'm so close so I'm hoping to finish that today before later on this evening I'm going to the art centre to work the bar at a boxing match and I've never seen a boxing match so that'd be cool and uh, Noemi volunteers there as well that we kind of met each other at the art centre so we're both working there with Fran who organises it uh, who I can probably say on here she's pregnant I don't know how many people know but it kind of seems relevant because it's like um, she probably shouldn't be doing any heavy lift lifting especially because she's about five foot one or something as well but um yeah, luckily Noemi's stronger than I am, so she can do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing later, and that's about it. I might also play some Baldur's Gate now, because I set it up with me doing all the voices and my portrait and game and stuff, and then didn't actually play it. So I'm probably going to play some of that today. I'm quite excited, actually. It's going to take me back to being a kid. 
Hello! I'm very tired. It is Sunday. So yesterday I did do some work actually in the kind of in the daytime, but then I went to volunteer at the arts centre. Uh, so the boxing was on. It was insane. Um, yeah, there were probably a couple of hundred people there. They left the place in a total mess, even though they were supposed to clean up after themselves. So the art centre is keeping the deposit they paid. But it also meant that like we were there till like half two in the morning, and it finished at maybe 11, half 11? No, actually it probably was half 11, quarter to 12 it finished. Oh God, yeah, it was, yeah, it was one of those. And now I'm just exhausted and broken. But it was good fun. Um, so Noemi was working with me as well, because that's kind of how we know each other through the art centre so we both helping out and then Fran who is the manageress and Chloe as well who is I guess like I don't know like a in training kind of thing but yeah it was good um, one guy got punched I guess I don't really know what happened all I know I was at the bar and somebody ran up and was like can we have some water please someone's just been knocked out in the car park so obviously I got this person some water went to get the manageress and then, yeah, like the police came, the ambulances came. Then the police came back to say it was like it was more serious than they at first thought. So he'd come back to ask some follow-up questions and stuff. It was mental. It was mental. But yeah, so that was all that. And then today, I am going to go to... We're going to the Wickham Swan to see the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra play some classical music. And I've never seen a classical music concert before. Was I have this like welt on my knuckle? It wasn't me. It wasn't me who knocked this guy out, I promise. This is just from cold from the cold weather. <laughs> um, yeah, I finished reading Dreamcatcher by Stephen King. So I gave this like a four out of five, full review coming soon if it's not out already. And I've now started reading uh, Dawn by Eli Weisel, which is uh, it's a novel that he wrote. So I believe you've got Night, which is sort of his non-fiction account of uh, the Holocaust basically. And then you've got Dawn, which is a novel set in like, Israel, Palestine, and like the fight for Zion and all this stuff. Basically, an Israeli, um, you know, freedom fighter or whatever is about to be executed. And so the Israelis have kidnapped a British major or jet, something like that, or a Brit British soldier, and they're going to put him to death in return. Uh, so yeah, I may or may not do a review of that, I'm not sure, but that's a buddy read with Alex Black. But so far, I am enjoying it. So yes. All right, see you in a bit. i 
I'm having a marvellous time playing Baldur's Gate in French with my character, with my voices. So where are we going? Uh, so I've spoken to him, so, okay. This isn't cheating, I'm just looking at the coordinates. Okay. <laughs> so a lot further west, but not much further south. So he's probably over here. We want to go down here, mate. Come on, Dane. Come on. Oh, who are you? Who are you? Stop moving. You're just a guard. Okay, a sentinel. Hey, uh, it's me, Emmerwin. Oh no, go away, Emmerwin. Well, I am surprised, uh, yeah, uh, young, I am surprised that the young, I don't know, the young cousin or something of Gorion has left in peace with his studies and his things he needs to do. So I can say, je crois, je crois de ne pas pouvoir discuter aujourd'hui, ma petite. I don't have time to talk to you today, my little one. Mon père, my, pe my dad, has got me to get ready to go on a holiday. So, no, wait, uh, je n'ai pas de temps. I don't have any time to lose today, my child. So I want to say number two, I think. Je suis désolé, Moen. Si tu le dis. I thought you might say this. Tu tiens franchement de vieux grouillon. Something about the old Gorian. Lui aussi. Me too. Il tourne toujours autour de pas. Bon chance pour ton voyage. Thank, thank you. She's saying good luck on your voyage. And uh, je veux dire, I want to say good luck with whatever you do. Listen, what do you know about my voyage? Gorion hasn't told me anything about the others. And that one's telling her not to talk to anyone, so I want to say that. Oh, I know. The the old pantoufle, I don't know what that means, but that's a good word, I want that. Has always been, or always done the same thing. Like, has always, has only ever done the same thing. I'm sure. To Ferremir, you're the favourite. Oh no, you, yeah, no, you do the favourite if you go because your route is long. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't have the letters for the Olgorian. You better go really quickly. Bye. Bye, Imowen. Yo, it is Monday. Monday the, Monday the 18th. Currently feeling a little bit anxious, but I thought I was going to today because, oh man, I've had such a good weekend. So, well, I've already, I updated you, I think, on Sunday, right? So, yeah, so then I went to see the classical music. It was the, I've got my ticket up here, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, uh, Wickham Swan. So I went to see that and it was incredible. Um, yeah, they played. They were like played two sets of forty minutes, uh, which was yeah, just like one of those experiences. I think I'm just always going to remember. Um, it's the first time I've ever seen a full orchestra, and it was the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. So, pretty good one to start with, you know. <laughs> um, yeah. Then after that, no, Amy was exhausted because like both of us, we didn't really sleep well on um, Saturday night because after volunteering at the art centre. Uh, you get that thing like after you've worked where like just your muscles are all like strained and you, you know you can't relax properly and also like your ears are buzzing from like the echoes of the all the sound and stuff. So um, so yeah, she went home and I went to the Rose and Crown where there was the Sunday Jam, uh, the Sunday Acoustic Jam. So I posted a few clips from that. Played some songs with Dave. It was actually really good. We like fucking rocked the place so David got his distortion pedal we did like London Calling by The Clash Ever Fallen In Love by The Buzzcocks uh, we did Part Life because we always do that it was great um, yeah and then I came back home and played some Baldur's Gate and now I'm um, well I'm still stuck in Candlekeep because it's really hard to play it I was also drunk you can tell I've just been editing the footage and I'm like wow I sound drunk I was waiting for my jacket potato to finish being cooked but yeah 
Uh, so I'm going to play some more Baldur's Gate later. I don't know if I mentioned in my last vlog, I finished Dreamcatcher, 4 out of 5, very good. I think I did mention it because I said it would be linked below. I also finished reading Dawn by Eli Weisel. This was like 3.75, pretty good. Not as kind of impactful as Night, but this is a novel and Night was non-fiction, I guess. So that has part of, the, part of it, partly to do with it. But uh, Weisel can really write though. I mean, it says as well, I think he's written like 40 plus, yeah, more than 40 internationally acclaimed works of fiction and non-fiction. So the dude can write, and this is just like a powerful post-World War II story about like uh, uh, Israeli freedom fighters, basically. Um, one has been captured and is going to be executed, and so the freedom fighters capture a British general and threaten to execute him. We watch that kind of moral dilemma. And now, I am reading The Hunger Games Catching Fire. So, uh, I've had Mockingjay for a while, and I read the first Hunger Games book. I'll link to that below, reviewed it below, and I enjoyed that one. So, I've been waiting for Catching Fire for ages, and in the end I just gave in and just bought a copy from, uh, from eBay or whatever. But because I've been doing buddy reads, like my last two books have been buddy reads, I haven't got around to picking it up until now. So uh, I'm going to go through it. I'm currently on 133 currently reading as well. And my goal is to like reduce that number. I think I was on about 160, 170 at the start of the year. So I think that's pretty good going. But 133, I'd love to get that down to below 130. So I kind of need to not buy any more books. Oh, but actually speaking of buying more books, I did also buy and read this, which is just pocket painters Cezanne it's by I think Paragon Press was it Paragon I think it began with a P Pavilion Books my bad and yeah it's just a little reference book that's got some of Cezanne's painting in but you know he's French so I thought why not get to know some more French culture and shit so yeah this is like 3.5 out of 5 it was decent enough good for what it was so yeah, that's where I am, but uh, you're going to have to wait until my next reading vlog to see what I think of Catching Fire, because this is a good place to end it. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, and if so, what you thought of them. Hit subscribe for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.